Hi guys, Derek Armson at APD Internet Marketing here, and today I want to talk about um, a little plugin that I found that actually comes from Facebook and do, can do some wonderful things for your site very, very easily. Um, firstly, uh, you'll notice I've got this little light box down here. Click that, and it brings up other articles from the site that you might be interested in and, and links directly to those pages. Um, and also gives you the opportunity to like the site and also those pages if you go on them. Uh, the other functionality it gives is obviously the Facebook like box, which I've put in as a widget. Um, and also, it allows me to add comments through Facebook. Um, and, and as we all know, Google is loving social interaction more and more these days. Um, so I thought I'd make this very, very quick video for you actually about this particular plugin. Now, if you go into the back of our site here um, and we go to plugins, the name of the plugin is actually Facebook. Um, and if you go to add new, and if you search Facebook, just Facebook, it'll be the first one that comes up. There you go. Facebook and make sure it's this one, it's by Facebook because you're actually working with a plugin that was developed by Facebook themselves. So they make sure that the interaction with Facebook is very, very easy. Uh, and indeed, once you go into uh, the, the plugin screen itself, um, which is here, it actually um, it tells you exactly what you what you need to do, and it also um, gives you the 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 link to go to to build your Facebook apps. Um, so it's a really, really useful plugin that integrates properly and fully with Facebook. Um, and I thought I'd just make this very, very quick video to show you about it. So just very quickly again, the plugin is called Facebook and it is by Facebook. And it is by far the best, easiest and smoothest integration with Facebook that I've come across. So I highly recommend you use it. Once again, um, the message here is, don't go out buying these glitzy guru products that you pay you know, a lot of dollars for uh, when you can get this stuff for free just by having a little search around the plugins. Um, you, know, you don't need to pay out all this money uh, on glitzy guru um, software. Most of it you can get for free, particularly when we're talking about plugins in WordPress. So there you go, guys. I hope you found that useful. Uh, I'll be back with some more tips for you very, very soon. Speak soon. Bye for now. So the second part of how to use this plugin, really very, very simple. The plugin settings, um, this publishes it out to whatever uh, Facebook timeline you designate. Um, there's the like button, the subscribe button, the send button. There's the comments button. These do various things. This will put a like button above all of your posts. This will put a subscribe button. This will put a send button. And of course, the send button is when it allows you to send uh, that particular link to that particular post to anyone through any medium. Um, there's the recommendations bar, the one that I showed that pops up in the bottom. I've just used the uh, the basic settings that the uh, plugin offers you. Um, the social publisher is, is is probably the most difficult one to set up because you do need to to build an app for that. So let's just pop into Facebook. Whoops. Um, and here we are. Once you've built your app, you'll need to go and edit your app and you'll need to go to open graph and set up a new action create an action type and all you want is publish and read I mean, you don't really need read you just need to set up publish it then takes about five minutes for facebook to recognize that and come back and offer you the drop down here okay um, so first thing you need to do is build build your app i'll get to the right page in a second um, so and then set up the open graph action uh, and the app is very, very simple. Go to uh, the developers link in Facebook when it goes back to it. Come on. There we go. And all you do is you give it a name, you put an email address in, you put a, the website that you want to interact with, which is obviously my website. And uh, as long as your hosting has secure hosting, you put the HTTPS in there. Uh, and then you're done. It, that's it. It's very, 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 very simple. And it gives you this added functionality um, on, on your website. And if we actually go and look at the website now, um, you can see that 
that is the the widget bar is there comments are there and of course the little box down here as well um, which all the functionalities I'm going to use in that. I might actually end up putting the like button in, although I've got social profiles over here as well. I don't really want to overkill it. So there's a quick overview of how you actually set up and um, uh, the, the plugin as well. So I hope that really, really helps you. Cheers now.